All right guys, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to properly squat in these squat racks. A lot of people ask me, how do I get myself set up? How do I go as low as possible? So here's a few tips personally. You know, I've twisted my ankles about 10 times each playing basketball throughout my college career. So I like to add a little plate at the base of my squat because my ankles are really tight. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on the first line of the barbell. You're going to come under. I always like to double check that this line is aligned with each shoulder. Obviously you don't wanna be off center because you're gonna be hurting your core when you're doing the exercise. And what you're gonna do is you're going to bring your hands close within that line, tuck your elbows in, and you're gonna sit it right on top of your trap. Not on your neck, not on your lower back, just right on top of your trap. There's gonna be a spot that's comfortable here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand under the bar, step up, you're gonna walk back. So when you're gonna be going down, you're gonna be sitting your butt down and going backwards. So you're gonna squat down, 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 and you go all the way down to 90 degrees. So now once you're here, one thing you're gonna notice as you push up, your knees are gonna wanna go on the inside. So as you're pushing up, make sure to push your knees on the outside like this because your body's gonna find the path of least resistance. So for some of you, you might be coming down like this and then going up and doing this weird thing right here, right? So make sure you keep your knees on the outside, down, bottom, pause for 0.5 seconds, and then press back up. And when you're at the top, squeeze your butt cheeks. If you don't do that, keeping a lot of tension on your lower back, and a lot of people are gonna end up like this. Down and up. Once you're done, walk, hit the back of the rack, simply drop the weight, and then you're done your squat. And that's how you do a squat safely and effectively.